Hey everyone, what's up? Ugh, terrible. Who the hell made a product and like approved that name? Anyway, um, this is a whatsup.net. Most people are familiar with a kilowatt, which gives you a nice display of amps, watts, that sort of thing. And you can find out how much your stuff uses, how much electricity your stuff uses. This is basically a more advanced kilowatt. This will do all the same readings, but it will also log it. It has internal memory. I forgot exactly how much memory it has, but it's thousands of records that it can store. And you can choose how much detail is stored, all that kind of information, so you can extend the length of the logging. Uh, it also does uh, power on and off. It's got a, a relay inside. The net version is actually much more accurate than the other WhatsApp models. There are a couple. Uh, some of them are listed on the back here. There's the Pro, the ES, and then there's I think there's just a plain one. And they all have different features, but they're all about the same price used. So really you should be um, just buying the .NET one. Even if you don't use the network portion of it, it's just a more accurate meter, supposedly, especially for smaller loads. So um, this will also log to a server. It has a nice Ethernet port on the side. It also has a USB port, which is a micro uh, or mini USB. For some reason, it is incredibly recessed into the case. And I have two of these, and they're both the same way, so it's not like a manufacturing defect. So you usually have to cut off some of the plastic shroud on a USB connector to actually use the damn thing. Um, they probably sell their own proprietary uh, molded plastic cable for it. But um, yeah, this will essentially just do what a kilowatt does, except supposedly more accurately, and uh, it will let you log it. And you can actually get software from them that will let you read from multiple meters and keep track and graph everything. You can do real-time monitoring, all sorts of stuff, or you can just do the plain old plug in a USB thing and dump the memory and find out the history. Now, there is a website that by default the .NET relays all the information to and you just configure your username and stuff or sorry the serial number of the model with your username uh, on the website and it will just whenever it receives data from that serial number it'll um, it'll just add it to the your account unfortunately this site has been down for about a week now I emailed their customer support to see if there's like an outage or something and I have not gotten a reply so who knows maybe the company went out of business this week or something uh, you can actually redirect it from their servers to a local server the catch is you have to make your own server they even specifically say um, as a frequently asked question can I use it on my network uh, to my own server and they're like yeah step one write a server that's essentially what they tell you there is an API available uh, if anyone knows if there's actually uh, some kind of open source one or something that I can get ideally for Windows uh, that um, I could I could grab I haven't been able to find it uh, if there is one so if anyone knows of one that's publicly available that I could stop using their apparently broken servers uh, let me know in the comments the incoming power is this hugely thick power cable uh, this says 300 volt 105 degree C 14 gauge yeah big cable it's designed to handle I think up to 15 amps yep eight, 1800 watt 15 amps so you can essentially use a full breaker that this thing's hooked up to <laughs> and uh, yeah it's a uh, kind of like a hard ABS plastic and if I already took the screws out of this thing uh, you can see it's just quite tough it's uh, nicely made this thing it's it's kind of big but since it's not attached to the wall it's not too bad and we have a multi-board design here there's the main uh, power board you can see the th very thick traces that they're running the power through there's some capped on tape covering up these uh, pins which are the back of the outlet along with some caps and stuff like that uh, there's a secondary board with the Ethernet, and it's got like the main controller and the LCD on it with the um, buttons that just fell out. And that's the only other board. Now, I've never actually gotten any further into this thing because this is all soldered in. And the way 
this works is that this clips in uh, this way and in order to pull the board out you have to disconnect it from the outlet because the outlet is stuck going in and it has to go out that way so there's no way you can actually push the outlet back out since it's all soldered together uh, there are a couple screws here but again you, you gotta get rid of this so there's also a little cap here over the uh, the input I think so I'm gonna have to take out all of this stuff and see if we can just take the whole board out you can see that there's just a drop-in outlet and this just clicks in that's how they manufacture it and they put the the board in and then just solder it in so these are all the connections to the main board from the outlet the uh, outgoing power and you can see that they've got lots of protection here it looks like some mobs are just uh, just caps and probably spark gaps or something and uh, yeah these are actually very tight solder holes so it was kind of difficult to pop out the the PCB once I removed all the solder but uh, yeah they seem to uh, have planned this out quite well you can see these aren't actually bodges it looks like these might be bodged in because they're kind of just everywhere this one's wrapped around the board they've got solder pads for everything right there they've got some very wide probably uh, high current um, high wattage resistors here for the uh, current sensing you can see a little itty bitty trace coming off it now I'll go to one of these which are probably uh, all for the readings and a bunch of diodes here this is probably for the relay which is not installed on my model which is very weird considering the software lets you turn it on and off so why does the software even give you that option if the physical relay is not installed but uh, either way um, I don't use it so it's not a big deal the incoming power is nicely crimped into these uh, spade connectors. There's an extra one here. I'm not sure what that's for. It just says J15. Most of the components on this thing are made by analog devices, at least all the sensing stuff. Uh, this is an ADE7763, which is a single phase, completely single purpose power management or power monitoring IC. It's designed from the ground up to just monitor, uh, basically do what a kilowatt does. It monitors all the uh, current... Uh, power factor all that stuff and these are uh, there's two ADUM 1301 uh, triple channel digital isolators the brains of the operation is this microchip pick 18f 87j60 which has built-in ethernet which explains how they're controlling the ethernet port uh, the port is just a basic um, 10 base t port with uh, built-in magnetics so it has the mac and the phi built in and it just runs off right to the Port. very very straightforward uh, there's an FTDI USB chip down here and we got the two switches and lots of circuitry running over to the um, LCD and a little power management stuff this is going to be um, providing a 5 volt output from the uh, 8 volt that the um, isolated converter is doing on the other board and up here we've got a little EEPROM and what looks like some expansion flash memory. So what they're probably doing is they're storing like the configuration information and the serial number in here. This will store all the logging information and then they'll have the main program code just inside the pick. They have a single mod wire here, which is funny considering it's revision 6.6. .6. They still have, a, still have a mod wire on that. On the back they have provision for a straight um, Ethernet jack. So... They could have it coming straight out, which uh, on this would mean it's um, it's coming out the top, <laughs> which would be a little weird. Is there a space? No, they didn't put it into the molding. So uh, they clearly didn't get very far on that. They may have a different layout for different ones. Most of the other ones are basically the same, except they have different amounts of memory and they don't have um, the network functionality. Again, I recommend getting the network one because it's more accurate and it's basically the same price. These things are pretty complex. There's quite a lot of components in here. And they're, they seem to be made quite well because they're very expensive new. If you go to their website, this thing's like $250. You can actually buy these off eBay for around 30 bucks. And I have two of them and it'd be nice to monitor them, monitor them both from my computer. But uh, yeah, the website's not working properly. So I guess I can't show you any of that. And the, uh, 
the software I think can pull stuff from them, but it can't really do much more than that. It's it's not real time. They do sell real time software that does real time logging and monitoring, but I don't think it uh, works with the net stuff. I don't think it'll actually connect via Ethernet. Included in one of the two, I got a little operator's manual. The only thing we really care about here is uh, accuracy, which is uh, plus minus 1.5%, plus three counts. So it's not super accurate, but it's accurate enough for uh, what we're doing here. Uh, below 60 watts, amps and power factor are, um, the accuracy degrades, but the wattage is accurate down to 0.5 watts. Also has some information on the menus and stuff like that. It's a fairly simple menu system. Uh, you can also, uh, do a clear memory thing when you start the unit and that's about it uh, you can mostly it's really just stuff you'd change on the computer so it's not that important but yeah so you got a quick reference guide so how you can get through all the different commands without using the computer uh, some of the models don't have USB that's why they have such detailed commands and if we actually look at this thing we got a mode button, select button, so you can go through the current watts. Um, do I have something to plug in here? All right, so we've got a little bit of wattage going through here now. Not much, because it's a battery charger, and apparently it just finished charging as I plugged it in. So great. Um, anyway, uh, you can view watts, uh, watt hours. Uh, this is just how long it's been running for, how much money you've... Uh, spent in electricity uh, you can define how much your utility cost is with the software current voltage reading a little high 122 and a half uh, amps zero this is the relay which we've determined doesn't actually do anything and I can see that the charger is still running so yes that is actually completely pointless and that's it, it just goes back to the same menu uh, most of the functionality is really through the software when you're dumping out the logs you can you can get excel charts and stuff like that so it's it's basically a kilowatt that just logs stuff and it just happens to be a very nicely built one so yeah for 30 bucks i mean it's basically the price of a genuine kilowatt so might as well get something that originally cost like 215 <laughs> use that